Here's a video on how to export footage. Now, on your recorder, I've already logged into the recorder using our username and password that the installer gives us. Now, when we do this, we're given all our menus. So up the top here, we've got Live View. Just next to it, we've got Playback. So if we click on Playback, we can then go over here on the left-hand side. We can scroll down. We find the camera where we want to export that footage. So I want to do it on the office. And if we choose the date, now once we click our camera, we can see what days have recorded footage on them. Now, it shows today being the 11th. Um, I know that I've got all of this month, so I know that because it's got a blue triangle in the top right hand corner under on top of each date. So from there, I choose the 7th. And that down here gives us our timeline now. On this timeline on the far right hand side, I can change it from a day, I can shrink it down to 20 hours, 16 hours, and so forth, go to four hours. So what you wanna do is you wanna get your roundabout time first. So I wanna do eight in the morning. Now we can see at eight in the morning, we've got our staff there in the office. So if the incident was around that eight o'clock mark, I've got it on the time. Now, if it's not, we just hold down the left button on the mouse and we can scrub. So we can just drag that footage. So if I pull out and I'm scrubbing, that's what scrub is. Now, when I drop, I can then shrink this down. So go from one day, maybe to a 20 minute period, and you'll see that instead of little dashes, they become much larger. So to export footage, on the left hand side we've got a little scissors, press clip. Now if I just pull out a bit, if I, when I click clip, we're given these brackets. Now these brackets, if this was our incident, we can drag the left hand bracket, we can drag clip, so I'm clicking the left button on the mouse, drag that bracket over. Now that is a time period from 8.19 to 8.22. So if that's the period that we want, if this gentleman is the one that we want to capture, what we want to do then is press export clip. Now, once I hit export clip, do I want the player as well? Yes, I do. So when I give this footage, this USB stick, to someone that doesn't have the footage and we, use, and we export it in encrypted format, then they can play the footage. Now, what I've done in the front of the recorder is I've put my USB stick ready to go. Now, if you put your USB stick now, you're gonna to have to hit the refresh. From there, I've got a folder here called NVR. So there it is. Double click, open the folder that I've got. Now, I've already got one file in there at the moment. Now you've got two forms. You can have it in MP4, which is your encrypted format, or AVI. AVI is not encrypted, so that's probably good to give to police, the AVI, because they can play it on any machine. If it's in MP4 format, that's when they're gonna need to have the player. So let's put it just in AVI. We've already got our times, and we hit OK. There we go, X exporting. Exported, done. So now we can pull our USB out and we're sorted. We might wanna put that back to live view and there's our cameras.